Welcome back to Psychic Renegade Sarah. My name is Bethany. So you guys, I wanted to mix it up and do a little something different tonight. I don't know. I'm a Sag son. Sometimes I get sick of routines and I just, um, I was a little bored. So I love doing true crime readings. I love doing pick a cards, but I don't want to just do the same topics over and over again. So anyway, I've Delved a little bit into celebrity readings, but not a lot, and they're kind of cheesy, but I'm bored, and it sounds fun to me. All right, you guys, so confession. During, like, the 2020 lockdowns, I got a little too invested in a couple celebrity dramas, so one of them being Selena versus Hailey Bieber. <laughs> okay, don't laugh. So... I think the beef is pretty much squashed and like nobody really cares, right? Right? Like Selena's living her best life. Haley's happy with Justin, whatever, whatever. But there's more to the story. There's history, right? So let's look into it. I'm going to like pull on both, both of their energy, how they feel about each other, what went down in the past, how they feel about it now. We're going to get into kind of everything, you guys, and I'm going <laughs> to... They're so polar. This is going to be Selena's deck and this is going to be Haley's deck. And I'm not going to mix the energies because it just doesn't seem right. And um, I feel like I'm, oh, I was going to say, I feel like I'm, I'm going to try to be as unbiased as I can. I'm definitely team Selena, but I feel like I'm pretty qualified to do this reading anyway because once upon a time, I used to really like both of them. I still do. Okay. I always thought Haley was pretty cool, but I just didn't like what she did to Selena. And I just always have loved Selena. She's awesome. And throughout the years, I've, uh, my respect for her has grown, which is things she does for mental health. And just, I don't know. Anyway, she's way, she's way, way more chill and loving than I am. And I respect people that are like that. Um, but anyway, I don't think... Haley is like some big, you know, evil person. So anyway, oh my God. Oh, don't get mad, Haley. <laughs> okay, I think Haley's a witch. Um, she cheeses at it and like, okay, girl, nobody gets those tattoos on their fingers unless. Anyways, I see you, girl. Anyway, so I'm not saying anything bad about her. We're just gonna look at the energies and. That's that. I actually think she has a lot of potential. I think she's her own worst enemy and, like, does things to herself. Like, if she would have just laid alone and never attacked Selena, I think... I don't think there would be so much animosity. But anyway, we're not going to get into my opinions. We're going to get into the tarot. So, you guys, let me know what you think of this kind of reading if you want to see more of them. Um, I do have a true crime that I'm working on, but I want to do it justice and I'm still in the research phases of that. So uh, when I'm not as familiar with the story, okay, I won't get into that, but anyway, I like to properly research those before I talk about them. So back to this reading for Selena and Haley. There's not gonna be any, well, should I split up the reading? I guess I kind of have to. No, let's see how this goes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna block it, like we're gonna look at Selena's energy and then block it and look at Haley's, or if we're gonna we're gonna vibe this out and see how it'll work, or if I'm gonna like think at one question and then see how they both feel about it, kind of thing. We'll see. We'll see how this works or how it doesn't work. Um, <laughs> okay, so first things first. Let's start with Selena. I just want to look at. What was her feelings about it in the past? Okay, cards popping out already. So what were her feelings towards Haley in the past? So we'll look at feelings towards both and then we'll look at some of the history. Okay. So she knew that there was something. Oh my God. Okay, wow. I feel like it's gonna be a tense reading. <laughs> There's like flying cards already. So she knew that Haley was a threat. She knew that she should worry about her. I think she she's not dumb. She's a cancer. So she sensed that this girl was like 
getting really close to her relationship, following them maybe, all of those things that we've learned now. Definitely got her in her head. Made, I feel like it's a root of a lot of her insecurities, which is sad, and I'm not saying it's all Haley, but just like being pitted against all those women through that relationship took a toll on Selena is what I'm saying. If you guys don't, aren't familiar with the story, then you might find this really <laughs> boring. So this is pretty much just for people that follow any of this kind of drama or feel like just listening to a random tarot reading. Okay. She also felt bound to the situation. Like everywhere she turned, this bitch would pop up or like, I don't know. Like, she did a good job to get inside of her head in her relationship. Okay. So, she knew that she was, like, after Justin. She knew she had some kind of infatuation with it, with the Knight of Cups here. I think she might have caught them flirting or seen how flirtatious Haley was around him. Uh, yeah, with the Three of Cups, with the Four of Cups, it's, like, the Three of Cups energy... I'm seeing this as like God pulled her out of the situation and that sounds dramatic, but I really do think that he would have just kept hurting her. So Selena was removed from the situation so she wouldn't keep getting hurt. Interesting. Um, how does she feel specifically about Haley? How does she feel specifically about Haley? She knew she was coming for her relationship and I feel like she caused problems even when, like, the relationship is successful is what I'm seeing. It's like, I think she caused arguments because Selena didn't like that Justin gave attention to her. Or maybe they were friends or something like that. Yeah, she felt really tested. Like, this took a lot out of her uh, mentally, physically. Um... She felt like she had to defend her position. She felt challenged, definitely. There's a lot of, like, challenge and action kind of cards is how I'm seeing it. Um, Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Yeah, she felt defensive and um, really didn't, like, deep down in her spirit, she, like, there was a time when Selena tried to, like, befriend all of them or was pretty friendly with that whole friend group. And I think she, like realized I don't know she had like a gut feeling that like she shouldn't trust these women around him or that they had ulterior motives I feel like in her naivety she just she didn't want to seem like mean or judgmental and so she stupidly let them in let them into her circle or just like yeah I guess let it happen or didn't maybe make a big enough fuss about it there's like something she's kind of regretting, like maybe she was she played it a little naive, didn't think that these women were so calculated or had like an agenda. It's like she knew it, but she didn't think they would really disrespect her relationship. But that was their plan all along. That was her plan. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, three cups. Yeah. She knew she like was willing to be a side chick. She knew she would take any amount of Justin that she could get. She was like desperate to be in his energy. Mm. Excuse me, I made some tea. Just sounded good. Um Yeah, like Selena's not dumb. She knew Justin had stardom and would attract a lot of women and he was like growing up and like becoming more manly and you know, getting more attention because she kind of dated him when he was like pretty young or just turned 18 or whatever it was. Like he was still kind of like baby face. And so he was like growing into himself. I think women were taking notice and it started to make Selena feel really uncomfortable and insecure. And I think he was just caught up in the attention. Yeah, he just wanted to like, he, he got really caught up in like the flattery, the attention, partying with women. I mean, if you, have you ever had attractive people throw themselves at you? It, you know, <laughs> if you don't know how to handle that, like that's a lot. So like Haley Bieber is gorgeous. Other women that he's been connected to are gorgeous. So it's not like, yeah, this is a lot for like a young kid to handle. And it's also was a lot for Selena to handle. She felt 
compared to these women. She felt like Haley was like promiscuous maybe or willing to like use her body to get him. That's how I'm seeing it too. Okay, what else? We're gonna move on to the next question. One more last thing. Um, was she like friendly to Haley back then? I don't really know if they hung out. I feel like they might have like seen each other in passing, but I don't think they were ever like friends. I think he was friends with her. Issa wants, yeah, she feels like she's an opportunist. Ooh, that's a good way to put it. Um, I feel like Haley got like caught up in like chasing fame, but <laughs> if you look at her history, she's been technically doing her whole life. So maybe, maybe it was always the plan. She feels like she was an opportunist. She couldn't say no to it. It's like she got close to Justin and she just like had to get her claws into him. She had to have it. Look at this. It's like she wanted the money, the riches, the status. <sighs> Selena was afraid it was more about the status and his name than actually caring about him as a person. And I think that's what really hurts Selena deep down is like wondering is he really loved for who he is? Or is he being taken advantage of for someone else's stability? Um, so that's how she felt in the past. Let's look at Haley. So we're gonna kinda go back and forth. How did Haley feel about Selena in the beginning? How did Haley feel about Selena? We got more flipping cards. Um, okay, so I'm getting this as like, she really admired her. She thinks she's beautiful. It's like a mix of like adoration and jealousy. She also thinks she's kind of like soft-hearted, like vulnerable in a way. Like she not in maybe intended to take advantage of that, but she saw it as a weakness she could take advantage of if she wanted to. Two of wands. Mm. She felt like Selena was too distracted by her career, maybe. She felt like she didn't give Justin enough attention. I don't know why. Maybe Justin was like telling Haley things or complaining to Haley behind Selena's back. Or I feel like there's some kind of inappropriate communication or something going on because like, I feel like Haley either just stalked them totally or she knew stuff about the relationship that she shouldn't. Like a door was opened emotionally probably on Justin's part that shouldn't have been that allowed her to like manipulate her way in probably to his emotions even to Selena's anyway um she also watches her so we all know that she stalked Selena she still stalks her I feel like this is never gonna end um I don't know it's just a it's a habit and a pattern of Haley's and I think this obsession has only grown I don't think she knows how to stop it at this point king of wands it's too fueled by um her own insecurities over Justin um she just wants him so this is in the past she just wanted him so bad she did definitely does look up to Justin as like her ideal man in like a fantasy kind of way. The King of Wands is very charming, very sexy. Haley's definitely into him. And she's so I think Selena's older than Justin, and I think Haley's younger than Justin. So I think Haley looks up to Justin in a way that Selena didn't. Like Selena really specs him and his career. But it was more of an equal thing because he was younger. I think Haley really like idolizes him because she was younger than him. So there's a different dynamic. His ego liked it. Temperance. Um, she sees she saw Selena as very gentle, very kind, very giving. I feel like she doesn't like being compared to her because she doesn't think she's as good or she doesn't think she's as sweet or noble, I guess. Maybe that's why she tries to attack her character because she doesn't like being compared. Um, okay, yeah. She knows she's a star, so 
Haley really looked up to her. Um, probably even like, okay. I feel like music wise growing up as like a girl, she was more of a Selena Gomez fan than a Justin Bieber fan, which is funny. I don't know if she'll admit this, but she was a fan of them both. She's a fan of them both. Yeah. Um, she also just thinks Selena is very gorgeous. There's a lot of physical comparisons going on, which you shouldn't do. Everyone has their own type of beauty, you know what I mean? I'm going to take these. They're falling out. Yeah, she didn't like being compared to her or even, I don't think anyone was at that time besides herself in her head comparing herself. Yeah. Because she wasn't, she was a little kid back in the day or a teenager. Um, she was obsessed with their love story. So she, it wasn't just like their music. It wasn't just their stardom. Like she really fangirled after them as a couple. And then it, ooh, eight of cups. Yes. And then she wanted to like get Selena out of the picture so she could take her spot. Oh my God. She started obsessing about this. It's like she started obsessing about them so much. I didn't even mean for this reading to get weird, but it's getting weird. I can't help it if the energy is weird, so don't come for me. <laughs> I'm not starting drama. I'm just reading cards. Um, I really was trying to be all diplomatic and be like, okay, I'm going to give her a fair chance and her a fair... Okay, this is just how it's coming out, you guys. Um, She wants to take her place. She always wanted to take her place. She started obsessing from the get-go. She fangirled after them and obsessed... She's like, she definitely looks up to Selena and I'm going off of what I pulled. I just feel like shuffling. She definitely like fangirls after them. But then it like became this thing where she was like, well, wait, maybe I can get the man, you know? Okay. So let's look at this. What happened in the history? What happened between the history of them? Let's look at what happened between the history. Okay, check this out. So, Selena was trying to be fair and not judge and not be like, oh, she's a hoe. She was trying to like be open-minded and let him have female friends and like she was very naive about the situation. And I think she knew better, but she let, she kind of let this happen or let them too close to him or something. Or I don't know, there was like a point where she didn't like really put her foot down. Haley, on the other hand, she was like holding back. She was wearing a mask. She wasn't speaking her truth. She wasn't showing all her cards. She was definitely trying to get close to them as like a friend so she could weasel her way in, right? She had alternative motives. And then at some point, um, Selena realized that this was a problem. She realized that they weren't her true friends, that something was going on with the situation, that she couldn't trust them. And it was because Haley already had a plan to take her man with this Three of Cups. Like, Selena's like, I'm not going to invest in these friendships. This is bullshit. Like, she realized these women were out to get her or out to get her relationship. And she felt stupid for opening up to them, as I'm kind of seeing. And Haley had no remorse. She's just like, she was like, yeah, I got him. Yeah, I'm going to be a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she was just too excited about it. Like, she was, like, celebrating taking him. Like, total side energy, you know? Okay, if you're proud of that, I guess. And then it turned it out, turned out being Selena ended up heartbroken and Haley got the man. Look at it. It's like literally showing it in the cards. This is how it turned out. She lost, she lost what well, was like near and dear to her heart. I feel like it was her true first love, right? I think, I don't know. I don't really know her full dating history. And then now Haley feels like she's gonna get forever after with him, the lovers. But their hands are not holding. Do you see this? Ooh, we're gonna do a little feature at the end. Their hands are not holding. So it's like, she might be celebrating too soon. Do you think she's celebrating too soon? I don't know. Part of me thinks they're just happy and the other part of me is not so convinced. It's hard to tell. Anyway, 
or they might just be stubbornly sticking together even if they're miserable. Um, okay, so what exactly happened? Like what, what exactly happened that, like what do you feel like Selena went wrong to allow this to happen or? I feel like she was going through like a shadow phase, like really working out something, okay. Um, so the shadow phase, okay, with the devil and the ten of cups and the king of pentacles, people are just out for her relationship, out for her happiness, um, this might be a generational thing, is her mom single? I feel like someone's attacking, like, her family line, it's like, it could be a spiritual thing, wow. Um, it could be a spiritual thing to be, like, fatherless. That's pretty messed up. So, it was, like, someone was attacking the stability in her home, like, her happily ever after. Somebody might have done this to her mother as well. I don't know if her dad cheated or died or what happened. Her biological father, um, but something happened where I think her mom was single. I think she grew up with a stepdad, but... Anyway, I'm not sure Selena's whole history. This was like something she had to go through, something she had to learn through. It was like a tough karmic lesson, but maybe it was to lead her to the right kind of man. I don't know. I'm gonna do this. Queen of Cups again in the world and the Ace of Pentacles. Freaking opportunist. That's all I can get. I used to like Bailey. I don't know. You're still kind of. Oh, man. It's just. I want to like her. It's just giving like. Oh. It's just too like opportunist for me. Okay, and this fell out too. Um. She just like had her eyes set on what she wanted with this Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the world. And she was going to go after it. She didn't care. It was just, I think she has Taurus in her chart. She just like locked in on him as a target. And she was just like, that's going to happen. I'm close enough to him. I can make it happen. All I have to do is get her out of the way. Look, they're young. People break up when they're young anyway. It's totally normal and I'm I'm gonna be the next one and I'll let him date around a little bit and then I'll swoop in. Like I think she literally had this little like girl crush fantasy plan and it kinda worked, which is the crazy part. This built Selena's character. This was something that she like meant to go was meant to go through and it was gonna build her character. Um and I feel like it's gonna lead to her ultimate happiness in the end. She just had to go through some stuff. And unfortunately, Haley Bieber was the villain in her story. And in Haley's story, Selena was in the way, right? So Selena is the villain in Haley's story. So they, there's equal animosity. I don't think either of them want to hate each other. I think on some po on some level, they may respect each other, but because they are in the position to have fought over the same man, it brought out um, just the worst sides of them, I guess. Or, yeah, a lot of it is about stability for Haley. Um, she also might have been pressured by her family or her mother, I'm getting this. Or something like everyone says it's her father that pressured her I think it was actually her mom had something to do with this had something to do with settling down needing to marry him needing to go after him at all costs whether he was taken or not it was I don't know I feel like it was a lot of just like this was like pushed into her head I don't think I don't know some part of this was pushed by her parents um, see, Selena, um, 
Selena was pushed to the position to grow herself with the Seven of Cups here, the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Wands. She was overcoming this dark energy. She was learning how to invest in herself, how to believe in herself, how to fight for herself, and how to love herself. So it was a really rough, rough lesson for her. It tore her to pieces is what I'm seeing. I feel like she's still healing from this. No matter what she says, she's still healing from this. Haley was just about the money. She really just got swept up. She wanted the fame, the excitement, um, to be at the celebrity parties, to have the money, to have the comfort, the luxury. It was, it was all of it for her. It, she was like starry eyed. So I think she does love her husband. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if he was a nobody, Haley wouldn't have noticed him. If he was a nobody, Selena would have. That's the difference. Like, that really is the difference between the two of them. Um, yeah, Nine of Cups. She was prepared to be like anything he wanted. Like, ultimate pick me energy with the Nine of Cups. Like, look at me. Look what I can do. Look what I can give you. Look what I can offer you. I won't say no like her. I won't complain like her. You can cheat if you want to. Like, I'll, it's like the look the other way kind of energy like the wives of like the 50s that like knew their wife, husbands were cheating and staying too late at work whatever whatever and they wanted to be pampered so they just look the other way kind of thing it's Selena couldn't do that it's like she needed it to be real she needed it to be loyal she wanted him to stop effing up and I think he just had too much growing up to do and he wasn't ready. And I think she got tired with the nine of wands. She's like, I don't have to put up with this. I'm better than this. I can't keep going through this. Don't you keep hurting me. She was like, enough is enough. He changed it on her with a lot of women. I don't think it was a handful. I think it was a lot of women. It might not have been when they were together, but it was when they were like off and on or he was like trying to get back with her or it was like messy he made it he made it really more messy than it needed to be i think probably just the fame and the drugs and the, the women it just really got to him what i totally dropped that card it's like under my desk oh. <laughs> five of wands okay yeah, um, what's going on there? Turn that down. <sighs> she got tired of defending it, tired of fighting for it. Like, she wanted him to defend their relationship. She wanted him to honor her. She wanted him to say no to the freaking girls. She didn't want to have to be the only one fighting for the relationship, and that's why she walked away. I think there's probably other factors, like his drug use, their mental illness, whatever, whatever their schedules, their careers, all that. But I think when it came down to it, she just got tired of fighting for it and like, she just felt disrespected. Yeah, I mean, can you blame her? Poor oh, girl. Um, Ooh, okay, let's look at this. I was gonna say, how does she feel now that she took him? She feel, ooh, she feels like she's better for him with the Six of Swords. She feels like she's his true soulmate. She's better for him. She's going to help his career. He's going to help hers with the Emperor here. She feels like more equipped to be by his side kind of thing. She feels like she can grow his money and her, like, she just feels like she's like set to be queen like she's good to go she was made for this selena just needed to get out of the way kind of thing she feels like she's like healing him from her like she, she's very um what's the word when you feel overly important or <laughs> i don't know she yeah nine of pentacles she doesn't plan on going anywhere the nine of pentacles here she's like putting down roots she's growing she definitely wants a family with him i think 
um, or at least just wants to establish strong ties so they stick together. I don't think she plans on going anywhere, especially now that they're married. Especially now that they're married. Ooh, but she has secrets. A lot of it is fake. A lot of her confidence is fake. It's a facade. It's like a house of mirrors. Like she really wants him to believe this facade that she holds up to him and to the world. But I feel like deep down, she feels like an imposter, like imposter syndrome. Ooh. Okay, so I was like, what is the moon about? I feel like if she is, if she does do any kind of divination, I feel like she might have manipulated the situation in her favor. The chariot. She feels like he's going to leave her. No. Nah. <gasps> she feels like she might. You know how you lose him, how you get him? Even if not to Selena, she feels like she might lose him how she got him. Like he might cheat on her. Or it would just be karma for her to lose him in some kind of way because she had to steal him. Okay, okay. Um... So I wanna look at, let's get messy. How does Justin feel about Selena? How does Justin feel about Selena? How does Justin feel about Selena? Remember he's a married man, Tara, be respectful. Um, he's messed up about it. He lives in regret. He's like woulda, shoulda, coulda kind of energy. Look at him. He's just a maze in his head. So he thinks about her all the time. Especially when he's sad. When he fights with his wife. He beats himself up about it. Three of Swords. The Three of Swords stand out in this Five of Swords. He's heartbroken over it. I feel like he can't get over it. He's going to live in regret because he knows he effed it up. How does he feel about Haley? Okay. What? Okay, I am not making this up. You guys, you know, in interviews, he's just kind of like, meh, about Haley sometimes. What kind of card is that? Take it for a relationship. I mean, this is weird, but it makes sense. They're broken up, but this is your wife. Okay, I'll try to put a good spin on it. He thinks she's like, look at it, it's even her haircut. <laughs> he thinks she's creative. Okay, I'll give her that. She's a hard worker. Look, she's making that money. So he's proud of how hardworking she is. Um, I feel like she's kind of a homebody sometimes, maybe not all the time, but I don't know. This is just getting like friend and roommate kind of vibes, like someone you like to chill with, someone you like to make stuff with. It doesn't feel very lovey-dovey, which is weird. He feels like she's more focused on her career. Maybe that's part of it. So I feel like it might be trouble in paradise because it's a weird card. Let's clarify. Okay, well, this wanted to come out reverse. Yeah, I don't think he feels very comfortable around her right now. So something's going on there because Four Swords should be rest card. So he feels restless around her, anxious. I feel like his energy, I don't know. Something's going off. Something's off. I mean, he does look sickly. And so, I don't know, maybe he just feels like he has to impress her or he also has to be doing something and he can't just like relax and be himself. So there's some kind of like exhaustion there. She also might be like a pusher too with this eight of pentacles energy, like pushes him to do things he doesn't want to do. Ace of swords. He's not honest about how he feels about Selena. And I don't think he will be unless he's single because the ace of swords came out reversed. So I was kind of thinking like, how does he feel about her? It's just not truthful. He hides it. It comes out in his music, I think, but he's not gonna outright show it just out of respect for his wife. But yeah, he thinks about her a lot. He regrets it. He regrets how it played out, how he hurt her, how it ended, how he doesn't have her as a friend. 
Okay, let's get super messy. If Justin could go back, if Justin could go back, who would he choose? Who would he choose? Ready? If Justin could go back, who would he choose? And you know, just because they have a love story or like, you know, it doesn't mean they're meant to be. So we're really going to look at this. You know, everyone has a past. Doesn't mean it's their future. Ace of Swords. King of Wands reversed. I don't know how I should flip it. King of Wands reversed or Ace of Swords. Ooh, who do you think? Who do you think? Yeah. Okay. So he knows he made the wrong choice. Thanks for clarifying, Spirit. He made the wrong choice. Let's look at the future. Okay. Justice. Queen of Swords. Oh. Okay. So she feels like justice is coming or some kind of karma is coming here. So just she's going to continue to be bitchy to her, probably making like subliminal jabs at her in line with the Queen of Swords reversed here. It's not a nice energy. She's not fond of her. It, it's like an obsession that's turning into hatred because she can't beat her is the thing. <laughs> Five of Cups. Um, interesting. So... Well, it's like the Five of Cups upright is you spill the Three of Cups, but you still have two left. And it's like in reverse. It's like she feels like she's running out of options. She might even feel like the way she's acted is actually coming back on her own relationship. It's like if she would have respected Selena, she might have ran off and been happy with Justin. But because she didn't they're getting karma. So I don't know if they're gonna break up or if they're just not gonna be happy. Like they're gonna have to fake it and not be happy. Selena's gonna get the hell out of Dodge. She's gonna travel. She's gonna live her best life. She's gonna do her own thing with the chariot here. Um, she's not worried about this. She's not worried about this. The star reverse. So I was thinking like what they're doing, how they feel and kind of what else ties into that? Um, she's not threatened by Haley. I feel like she makes fun of her behind her back. Like, Selena's super nice in public, but I bet you she clowns her behind her back. Like, in public, in private. <laughs> Probably just for her own laughs. Yeah, she just, she knows that, like, what this is hanging on is really fake and shallow, and she's not intimidated by it. She's not. She's not concerned. Ooh, seven of swans, seven of swans, seven of swords reverse. She feels like the lies are going to come out. The truth is going to come out because these lies are going to be exposed. So she might know some dirt on Haley. Ooh, I'm getting this. She might know some dirt on Haley, but she doesn't want to be the one to expose it. So she's just kicking back and waiting for this to come out. Oh, okay. The Hellfront, Ace of Wands. Not them not having sex anymore. The Hellfront. That's like a divorce and the Fool. Haley, that is not looking good. I'm seeing no sex, an end of your marriage, and you looking dumb or taking new opportunities. I don't know. I give their marriage another 10 year, 5, 10 years tops. If they make it 5, 10 years, I'll be amazed. <laughs> okay, if they don't have kids, they're going to make it another 5 years. If they have kids, they might make it 10. That's my prediction. Selena, on the other hand, Selena, okay. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna cry about it. I'm gonna make music about it. I'm gonna be a cancer about it. And I'm gonna be sad about it and that's okay. So you know what? Her karma is a shitty love life. That's what you get, Hilly Bieber. You're gonna, your marriage is gonna suck or he's gonna leave you. You ain't gonna have sex. He looks at you like crazy. Why you keep wearing those ugly wigs? <laughs>
stop. Selena is going to get over it. She's going to use the pain and turn it into songs. She has love waiting for her. She has all this opportunity to come in. So Selena's going to move the hell on. Selena's going to move the hell on and be just happy, just fine. And she has like stuff to look forward to. It's like moving forward. And I feel like she's also going to enjoy these lies coming out. I feel like she's sitting on something. She can't wait for it to come out. Okay. If Selena could say one thing to Haley, what would she say? If Selena could say one thing to Haley, what would she say? Like, really say something to her. And I'm not talking about some PR thing. Not something she has to write and edit. I'm saying if she could, like, really just speak her mind. Oh, she's a page. She's like, girl, you a fan. You a little baby boss and you take notes for me. Oh, she would talk down to her. Like, not in a mean way, but then, like, it's so cute you think you can compete with me. Or so cute you think you can be me. It's like a bitch you could never be me kind of thing. You're a page. Haley, what would you say to Selena, Haley? What would you say to Selena? Like, you ain't gonna take my happiness. You ain't gonna take my man. I ain't gonna end up single. Back off. Yeah. Like, she should be happy, but... Oh, she's trying to say you're not even happy. Oh, okay. Um, so she's, like, trying to say, like, she's faking being happy. She's miserably and single. Like, you're a sad, lone bitch. Like, you're just single and miserable. Move on. Stop pining over my man. Move on. Move on. Find your own. Get over it. Blah, 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 blah. What does Justin say? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. The hero font commonly means marriage. He wishes he would have married her. And he either plans to break Haley's heart or he don't give a fuck if he does. I feel like he's getting to a point where he's going to start being brutally honest with her something's gonna something's gonna give where he can't like fake it anymore he can't lie anymore it's not about the sex anymore it's not about anything else so it's i feel like it's eating at him even if he doesn't ever get selena back i feel like he just has to like own his truth yeah he just has to i feel like he can't live in this facade anymore Yeah, he feels like he's just like a money cow. He feels like he's just taking care of her. He feels like, look at this, you guys. You think I make this shit up? He's tired of being like her dad. He's like annoyed. She's like, it's giving like toddler energy. Like he has to explain shit to her. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, they're not on the same level, like intellectually or anything. It, he's getting like bored of the energy. You can only tap that ass so many times before you just want to have a conversation. Look at this. I don't know if he will ever take any action, but it's clear where he wants to be. It's clear where he wants to be, you guys. Anyway. Okay, well, that was kind of messy and fun. Let me know. Are you guys team Haley, team Selena? Do you think it's like so stupid to even talk about it? I know it's old drama, whatever. I just feel like doing it for fun. If you guys want more celebrity readings, we could do that. I might. I might mix them in. I'm just kind of wanting to mix up my content uh, on YouTube. So let me know what you guys thought about that. Subscribe for more. Thank you for being on my channel. Um, share with a friend. Like this video if you like this. Tell me if you hated it if you hated it. Be nice. I don't really, you know, whatever. I don't really know these people, so it's not like I care that much, but yeah. I just don't like homewreckers. And I felt like she really skirted around how involved in their relationship she was, because we all know how involved she really was. So let's not pretend. But anyway, I think she's gonna be better off either way and she's gonna pay her, Haley's gonna pay her karma one way or another. So, yep. You get what you give, and that's why you shouldn't be shysty, because it's going to come back on you. Even if you get that man, you're going to be miserable or just lose him the way you got him. 
Anybody trying to break down this woman? She's gonna be happy anyway. So what did you do? You just like built her character and made her more famous and rich. <laughs> so there you go. Um, all right, good night you guys. I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you for watching and talk to you next time.